The Kisei DC to DC charger is an awesome way to charge your lithium batteries with your alternator. I'll show you how I installed it. First step is to take those out. Those are T25 Torx bits. Take that off. And then you take this kind of uh, rubber piece out, this, this almost like a floor mat. Kind of fold it like a taco. And then it slides out. Take this plate off. These four bolts that hold it in, these are a T30 Torx. And we can get to the battery. Made a small modification to this plastic piece here. And then I'm gonna put some wire loom over it. This is actually very similar to what uh, Mercedes uses. You can see it here in the seat, they use the same thing. I 3D printed this tool to put the wire loom on. Hold the wire and the wire loom, and then just slide the tool, and it puts the wire loom on for you. Okay, so I ran my six gauge wire back to the DC charger. Uh, I found a connection here that I'm gonna add, add this part to the positive. This is the positive terminal of the battery, and and it's connected by a pretty solid uh, terminal there. There's already a wire there. This was all existing already. So I'm gonna add this in and then screw that down. Make sure you screw it down nice and tight. Okay, then I'm gonna add back the cover. Now I just wanna put this plate back on, make sure I'm not pinching any wires. And you don't have to remove the screws all the way because these are slotted holes. Screw it down ready to put the rubber mat back in. Kind of fold this up just like we took it out. Fold it up like a taco. Slide that in. Excellent, okay, great. Okay, there we go, perfect. I'm about to make the connection here for the uh, battery cable. I'm going to connect it to my circuit breaker first. Okay, so now I'm going from the circuit breaker to the power input from the Sprinter battery to the DC charger. Put the terminal on and then I'm going to grab my hydraulic crimp tool. This thing is a monster. And we have a nice solid connection. Slide the shrink tube over. Go from the circuit breaker to the battery. Here's where I've ground the paint down on the, on the body panel. So now I can connect from the negative of the battery input to right here. I don't have to run a wire all the way back to the battery. Now we've got all the other wood panels on. This is the last connection that we have to make it operational. I don't have the solar hooked up yet, but I'll be adding that soon. Now we've got the positive and the minus hooked up for the battery. This is where the solar positive and minus will go. And then we have the output going to our battery bank right here. To program it, you just push and hold info and then select the battery type. I have Battleborn lithium batteries. So press next and select your bulk charge. My bulk charge is at 14.2. Next is float. My float is set at 13.6. And then this is the charge current. So I'm charging at 40 amps. And L is essentially how often the battery will charge. And I have it set at eight amps. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of our 4x4 Sprinter 170 build. I'll leave links for all of the items I used in the video description.